All right, we're here. We're booking. All right, so on my previous video, I did one of what if CM Punk bought total nonstop action wrestling. Well, to be more realistic, as I was watching the video over, and I was like, hmm, Punk buying it, that'd be crazy. But you know what'd be crazier and more of a realistic scenario? Polly dangerously over here buying the company. Because it does, it just exactly what the heck just happened like it just makes more sense if you ask me so we're pretty much going to do a rundown of what we did in the last um video and it's, it goes with the same thing if you or if these do really well uh if you want me to continue i'll continue but we'll just go by see people that i think paul Heyman would keep or let go of and see who he would try to hire Paul Heyman's definitely a guy who will have those like random tag teams. So I think like Bissell Brock and Baron Dax, they would be safe in my opinion. What do you we think? We need more tag teams, so keep them there. Yeah, Heyman's really good on tag teams, and he's really good on like building some singles guys. I can already tell you're not going to be yeah, staying around. Some of these people won't be staying around. Actually, you know, the sad thing is, I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't think there would be, like, a good women's division with Paul Heyman. I don't think the knockouts division would be good at all. He yeah, probably just make managers, like, in ECW. Exactly. So, let's do... No uh, women. Exactly. Now, Paul let's Heyman's keep... a confusing one, because, like, faces and heels, sometimes he'll do them, sometimes he won't. So, there is a light aspect of that. So let's do 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 do. Let's just go by everybody and see. Abyss, I think he'd keep Aiden O'Shea. He would he keep? Uh, he'll keep him. Yeah. Um. Allie, do you think he'd keep her? Um. Yeah, to be the manager of her husband. Exactly. Andrew Everett. I don't know if he'd keep him though. That's the sad thing. No. I don't, no. I don't think he'd keep him and Trevor Lee. No, he keeps Trevor Lee because Trevor Lee is a great wrestler. Well, so is Andrew Everett, but I think there's just something about, like, them, like, Paul Heyman really wants to create characters, and, or at least, you know, have characters that are established, and but that's kind of a hard one. Wouldn't, wouldn't he want to try to build a future? Because he can build a future exactly. with... Exactly, but if Heyman's got the money, he might try to get some Chelsea really Green good people, gone. too. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea Green is gone? Why do you say that? Yeah. Why would because, you say that? Because I didn't like her from like when she had that WWE angle with Brie Bella and Daniel Bryan, remember that? You didn't like her, but does Paul Heyman <laughs> like her? That's the question. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. D'Angelo De Niro? Yeah, because commentator dude. Elijah Burke? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. I don't think he'd keep going. Grado, there. no. Too, yeah, too sorry, Grado, you're gone too again. Um, okay, DJ. He'll keep him. He'll keep DJZ. I don't know if he'd keep Galloway, to be honest. Yeah, he would keep Galloway because he, he could as a top heel, actually. Yeah. Um, James Storm. He's suspended right now, though. Do you think he'd keep James Storm, or do you think he'd be like, you're getting too old? Yeah, he'll keep Storm because Star he needs power. people there for a while. Yeah. Mahabashira? Let him go. There's like nothing. <laughs> you're like, keep let him go. Just, just I don't <laughs> believe he would. Um... He'll keep Mike Bennett, I know that. For the most part, uh, Marsh Rocket, I think he'd keep... No, I don't think he'd keep Marsh Rocket, sadly. No. It's sad because, like, I think... Or not Race. sad, but I think he'd, he'd actually, you know... Fire Ron Harris. Yeah. yeah, Ron Don Harris would be gone yeah. if Paul was running the place. I don't think, really, Paul Heyman would let go of too many people, to be honest. Like, uh, like, um, like TNA would kind of... Oh. I feel like TNA would kind of go on like it normally goes on if Paul Heyman was running the place but the only difference gotta, was uh, the shoot. money we have we have $100,000 so we gotta worry about yeah, keeping we, that we gain a good bit of money though from the show and um this also so yeah Can't, I wish we could have sponsors I'm trying to think of the, the people that Paul Heyman would hire um trying to think of like guys who are still currently fighting that have been in ECW yeah. Let's see who's who is Paul Heyman's buddies. Let's see if there's any. Let's see Paul Heyman relationships none. 
We could get Lesnar, but Lesnar's already signed. Yeah, we can't get Lesnar. He's with Brock. And the other thing is, I don't think Brock would go to TNA. I think at this point, if Brock if was did, done, if I think Brock would be done with WWE and he'd go straight back to UFC. So there's yeah. that. Let's think of like old ECW guys that um, he bring in. Definitely Tommy. I yeah, can definitely Tom- see Tommy Dreamer. He'd, you know, snatch paper. him up. Yeah, yeah, paper. I don't even know if we'll get him before the show, but I'm just saying people that he would hire. Oh, Sab- Sabu. Sabu. Um. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure about he that could, one. He could, he could do hardcore matches only for TNA. True. Because True. We'd have a lot more hardcore stuff going on, in Office. my opinion. Events. Every- no, everything. It- only those eight shows. Who else would he hire? Just give us like top uh, five people. Tat. No, we can't get tags. Can we? What? Can we get Taz? We probably could, to be honest. Let's see. Yeah. He's retired. I mean, he wouldn't wrestle, but he'd, you know, do color commentary. Taz is one guy who I feel like he really had his ball dropped in freaking professional wrestling. He should have been a lot more. Bubba Bubba and Devon. Bubba, what's his name? Freaking Bully Ray. There's Devon Hughes. I'm going to have to look through this, aren't I? WWWE. All right, World Wrestling Entertainment. They released Bully Ray. Oh, they did, didn't they? Yup. I can find out his name for me. Yeah, find out his name. Oh, boy. Let's see, Devon. Um, it's Mark Lomanic. Found it. For Mark it Lomonaco. Yeah, hire him. Yeah, I think we definitely have the and Dudley Devon, Boys Devon, in there. Devon. And by Dudley Boys, I mean Team 3D. So. Yeah, we There's can we that. can we can we can start off the tech. And who do you think? Who who else do you think? Because I know that we'd have a lot of older people that. Wish we could get Rhino. If we could get Rhino. Rhino. What's his name? You. It was right there. It was R H I N O. No, right. Yeah, so. Eh, we don't need a fifth person, I guess. Uh, maybe. Um, uh, I don't know. Is there any other good ECW guys around right now? I'm trying to think of like a 2008 ECW guy. That's my. Like who I'm thinking. Like who else from like that 2008 era of ECW? Let me try to snatch up. Oh. That's a thing. Exactly. Because a lot of those guys are either gone or they're kind of the same guys or they're try eh, to think of, try to see, think of some so you can't get Chavo because Chavo's with Lucha Underground technically yeah. so and then like Christian is retired so I don't know I think he'd come back to TNA even if he was doing the road agent thing so we'll Ooh. get him there Christian Cage so oh. he'd, do the, he'd do the road agent thing but the big question on everyone's mind is who would Paul Heyman manage in um, TNA? Ooh, that's a good question. What about not La- Lashley? Could he be good for Canada? I think if Paul Heyman was running TNA, the person that he managed would either be yeah Lashley, or I'd see probably Mike Bennett. Oh, I got someone you could get. Who? Christian York. He used to be part of ECW. True. 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 And he used to be part of TNA. So we'll put him we, in there also. We probably won't get him Justin before the show. Incredible. Just incredible if he's still. incredible. Yeah, yeah, having him back. It'd be. That's a sad thing. It'd be kind he of like an old school reunion of a lot of older guys and then some newer people. So. What if he came out of retirement for this? That'd be pretty chill. But the big question is who would Paul Heyman manage? I got my money on Mike Bennett or Lashley, so... Lashley would be a great option, because Lashley needs someone to speak for him. Well, he Lashley can, do- can speak like, pretty good, though. He's pretty arrogant but, and cocky, which is, like, the Paul go-to Heyman. thing for him, yeah. But Heyman would put him over as Heyman well. would freaking really put him over. Like Lesnar. So, yeah. Um, just take her to mm-hmm. Impact, I guess. But I kind of get the gist of like how we're gonna go with this because it it kind of will be the same. It's like it's my perception of how to, he would do it. So what? Can we get to Jerry? 
Tajiri. Yeah. Probably, I'd imagine. He's part of the alumni of BCW. Yeah. So we probably could get him. I don't know. I just feel like with Punk and Heyman running the show with TNA, it would start off the same, and then the stories would transition a little bit more deeper to, you know, Punk would be like, I'm the guy, and he'd appear more as, like, wrestling and whatnot, where Paul Heyman, he'd be really putting over, like, two, three big heels. Um, and he'll be really putting the face. At his time. What? He'll keep putting on consistent matches that have been main event worthy or show worthy. Yeah, and I think with Heyman is that we'd see a lot more older people in TNA. We wouldn't see a lot of the younger people. Like, TNA right now is full of really young people, if you think about it. Exactly. Like, the X Division's really young. The, but we need tag teams for our tag team division. Yeah, the tag team division is kind of like cut in half, sadly. I mean, once you have Decay Rock and everything and destroying everybody, then, then you need to add more people. So I guess... You know, the Hardy family taking on Decay is one route of things, but... Couldn't we get Generation Me back at the Young Bucks for, like, paper payments? We could. I don't know if Paul Heyman would get the Young Bucks. I mean, he Like, could. I have no idea how, like, his thoughts on them. I have to look that up. I'll look it up. <laughs> what are Paul Heyman's thoughts on the Young Bucks? Does he like them? Is he an Adam Cole guy? We'll I know, never know. I know someone who hates the Young Look at Bucks. that. Roman Reigns won the title from Kevin Owens. Look okay. at that. Wow. Main See event Brock. MVP of the show was Brock Lesnar. Raw, Reigns for Cesaro, Sheamus, and Owens. Dang. Dang. Mm. Dang. He mm -mm. put over he buried three talents in one night. He did it. How did NXT? Oh, incoming for NXT. All those failed for some. All right. Impact Wrestling tonight. Should right. we have storylines? Huh? Should we have storylines or no? No, I, I know that stuff in my head. Trust me. All right, it's freestyle angle. Starting off, do you think Paul Heyman would be like, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and this is my... Beast, my destroyer, my conqueror, Lashley. Not conqueror. It, it needs to be something else instead of conqueror. What would you call him? Mena menacing. The menacing Lashley. That sounds horrible. It does. It sounds really bad. But there, I looked it up, and there's nothing that Paul Heyman hates about the Young Bucks. Only, only Jim Cornette hates Young So who would be the guy to take on Paul Heyman and Lashley? Like, there has to be that one go-to oh. front filter guy who's going to be like, I'm going to try to save TNA against <laughs> Lashley. EC3, you think so? I think yeah, because he's, I think it would be, to a, be honest. He's a great talk. It comes down to EC3 or Drew Galloway. So right. EC3 is face and Galloway, you know. Exactly. So like I said, he, most of the TNA stuff would really be what's going on right now, but it would just add that extra element of, hey, we got Paul Heyman. So, I mean, he I mean, honestly, I could I could auto-book the entire show. Yeah. Yeah, I could auto-book the entire show, take out the, the main event, take out this, and then add this around with uh, last last and you see think harder the third microphone and medicine boom 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 it's like 10 minutes by the way and then and the main event main event needs to be i think it'd be something crazy like an i quit hardcore, match or hardcore problem no a hardcore match thing lastly <laughs> you have brooke nero versus versus someone and you lash versus ec3 for the title I think I think Heyman's the type of guy who would put the title on the line. Yeah, uh, do you think he would give like script just say, Hey, you're gonna win or give it all out? I like to think that ECW was entirely shoot fights of like, hey, go out there and oh, make it look realistic and then stuff went down and that's why they couldn't get on television because some stuff look, would get too realistic. That was that went very well. That went masterful, so wrestling no. Wrestling, good old Aaron Rex not putting over Eli Drake. 
How dare you? Eli Drake is the, is the man. He's the man. Not the man with the plan. Not that guy, but he is. He has a plan. Moose. Moose. Spud Moose. Showing Sutter and Spud. Is that Brother oh. Miro? I Brother. knew you would come. Says Broken Man Hardy. Oh, we got uh, the Bromans and Decay. Decay better beat the Bromans for the title. You got that right. EC3 and Lashley. Butt heads a little bit. Tribunal, Eddie Edwards, and DJZ. Eddie Edwards and DJZ, that seems like, yeah, that's going to be a tag a great, team. A great tag team. Right Phenomenal. Bram, Mandrews, and Tiger Universe, Trevor Lee, Aiden O'Shea, and Tyrus. We need to give them something else to work with. And the main event would be Lashley and EC3. I should have put. A, I should have bumped up their segment. I didn't see it. But, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. I think the... The so added, popular. Yeah, the popularity jumped. I think the added element of Paul Heyman wouldn't change around TNA too much. I think the only thing that he would do for the company is just be that other star power name that they kind of need, but they're saving a lot of money by not having he'd that because they're building bring, their own people up. He'd also bring great storylines into place for the company. Exactly. My only thing which I'd be worried about is the money problem because I don't no, because there is that history of Paul Heyman and money. But I mean, if you plus, fund, if you fund Paul Heyman, he'll make magic happen. So plus, if you also think about it, he would have someone trying to be like Joey Styles, if at all. Like where he would. Josh open up Matthews is the new Joey Styles. Yeah, he would open. Oh he would open. Up so like how ECW opened up their shows with Joey Styles in the ring, announcing like "Welcome to ECW" or something. Yeah, welcome to the Impact Zone. 